Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Morris Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.2 from the chapter number 5. Okay, the problem is construct a JK flip-flop. That is, we have to design a JK flip-flop circuit using a deep flip-flop. That means we can use one deep flip-flop and a 2 into 1 line multiplexer. That is 2 to 1 line multiplexer. We can use one of them and we can use one deep flip-flop and an inverter. That means we have to design a JK flip-flop and we can use one deep flip-flop, one 2 into 1 line multiplexer and one inverter. So first of all, let us draw the multiplexer, 2 into 1 multiplexer. So suppose this is 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 2 into 1 multiplexer here we will have two input lines one port here and another port here okay so suppose this one line is represent to zero and this one is for one okay one we will have one select lines okay here we will have one select line s and we have to use one deep flip flop so for deep flip flop we will have one input line okay that is the input line one clock input because it is a flip flop okay clock is represented by C and we'll have a output Q and here we'll have an inverted output also now we have to use another inverter so that we can use it so that we can build a JK flip-flop so how we'll use the inverter we'll use an inverter at the input of the second input okay so suppose here we have J and K and we have the select lines so this output of this multiplexer, this multiplexer will be connected to the D input of this flip-flop. So this is D flip-flop. So D, uh, this output Y is connected to the input of this D flip-flop. So what we have to do, we have to do some mechanism so that this select input line can be controlled from this output. Okay, this select line will decide which one of the input line will be connected to the output line. If S is equal to 0, okay, this 0 J line will be connected to the output. Okay, and when S equal to 1, this K line will be connected to the input of this, connected to this output port. Okay, so what we will do, we will connect the select line with the output Q this present state output q is connected to the select line s so whenever we have suppose we whenever we have zero we will assume it to be a complement and whenever we have one we will assume it to be without complement so we will assume that whenever q is equal to equal to one and q bar equal to zero we will assume this point when q is equal to zero that means q bar what will have will have this input j will be connected to the output y okay so what will have d equal to we can write it as j q bar whenever we have this j input line connected to the output we will have j q bar so when so when s equal to 0 that is q bar this j input will be connected to the output so we'll have j q bar plus when q equal to 1 this k input will be connected here and we have an inverter so we'll have here k complement now q is equal to 1 okay because s equal to 1 q equal to 1 we'll have k bar q so the next step output q n plus 1 will be this one j q bar present state output complement okay plus k bar present state output okay so this is nothing but a jk flip-flop okay flip-flop okay so this is the solution of the problem number 5.2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you